this is Susan London reporting from the annual meeting of the American Society of Clinical Oncology. I'm talking with Dr. Budd about a trial of different schedules of paclitaxel for treating breast cancer. Dr. Budd, can you tell us a little bit about your findings? What we found uh, was that giving uh, paclitaxel every two weeks or giving it weekly to patients with uh, high-risk breast cancer produced similar outcomes, but the side effects were a bit different. The weekly treatment seemed to produce more low blood counts, although uh, in reality these patients did not receive hematopoietic growth factors and had their blood counts checked every week, so this is of uncertain significance. And more importantly, uh, neutropenic fever, so infectious consequences of low blood counts were rare in both arms and did not differ between the two treatments. Uh, neurologic toxicity and muscle aches and pains were greater in patients receiving treatment every two weeks. Okay. And it sounds like this trial didn't capture costs, and yet there's a need for possibly growth factor use in, in some of these regimens. So can you, can you discuss that a little bit? Well, yes. Yeah. So the, the treatment given every two weeks does involve hematopoietic growth factors in order to ensure that you can give the treatment every two weeks. Uh, we did not do, uh, at least so far, formal pharmacoeconomic analysis that would uh, also uh, capture costs of treatment complications, time loss from work, and so on. If you just do a back-of-the-envelope uh, calculation, the costs for the weekly treatment are considerably less. Depending, and it depends a lot upon your um, payer mix, so-called, but uh, predominantly adding the growth factors can add ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 to the treatment. Okay. And can you discuss the individualization of treatment a little bit based on your findings? Well, the outcomes uh, were the same with both treatment schedules, so that the decision could be made uh, on other uh, on the basis of other considerations, uh, particularly uh, side effects, but also how often the patient needs to attend the clinic. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Bud.